One of the main features that we changed in this year's challenge was up front we asked the community to put forward there some of the ideas and instead of us only giving a prize pool uh, or a prize to one of the contestants we decided to spread that across the top eight contestants. Uh, the rationale behind that was you put a lot of effort into creating your bot during the year and you want to be rewarded for that effort. Another idea that came out uh, from the community this year was to change the dynamics of the game. So instead of us only doing a 1v1, we decided to have a four free-for-all in the particular competition and add in a little bit of randomness. Um, that allowed the guys to change their strategy and their bot creation so that they could react to the game world and not just follow or traverse the game tree. So for this year's Intellect Challenge, we decided to completely redo the framework in terms of how we compile and execute the bots and we added the calibration bots which means the various languages now have extra time based on how long they take to run and execute leveling the playing field between all the languages. We supported C Sharp, C++, F Sharp, Java, Scala, Python 2, Python 3, uh, Node.js and Scala being the new addition for this year. Okay, so for the average Joe to enter, they would go to the challenge.intellect.co.za website. From there, they would get basic instructions for the bots, the links to the GitHub page. There, they will find the sample bots and the reference bot, where they can then start their, their bot from scratch or use the reference bot as a nice foundation that already has some logic and improve upon that. After your bot's complete, when the player portal opens, you would register on the player portal, submit your bot, it would run the tournament server and give you the go-ahead whether your bot can be used for the challenge or not. The type of skills needed to enter the Intellect Challenge, um, curiosity, um, a bit of smarts, you don't really need any advanced knowledge in AI or specific frameworks. Um, the way the guys have put it together is quite intuitive. There's a lot of help. There's a lot of frameworks that you can literally download and get going from this from, from scratch. Um, a little bit of research might be needed here and there, um, but ultimately if you've got a little bit of time to spend, a little bit of smarts, um, you've got a good chance at taking home the grand prize. This year, I think I had a better strategy in terms of my coding, learning from the previous three years. So it's, I found this year the greatest one of the three. Well, what attracted me to this challenge was the idea of having a, a program that thinks by itself and based on his scenario, gives an answer to his current situation in the best possible way. I just, this year was tough. Last year we could say I, I can move right, I can move left. But this year we have to find our way around the bombs, kill other players. And also we have four players, I forgot that, because last year we have like two players per game. Uh, to be fair, I didn't expect to reach this far. If I win 70,000, that would be great. So I'm pretty excited about going to Rage. I've never gotten that far on the challenge before, but I'm also a bit concerned because I, I saw a couple of very strong competitors on the challenges in the player portal and also in the playoffs tonight. So I think it's going to be a very interesting day at Rage. When we started the Intellect Challenge five years ago, 
our initial goal was just to get the guys together. I think over the last, you know, the last few years, we've really taken it to another level. The amount of effort that goes in from our team is just incredible. You know, the prize money is rising, the stakes are rising, the amount of work that goes in from the contestants has also grown. It's just uh, at a completely different level now.